students today we are going to discuss your worksheet number 47 class 10th science english medium for the date 21st october in this worksheet we'll learn about the position of elements in the modern form of periodic table as per henry moseley the periodic table has 18 vertical columns which are known as group and seven horizontal rows which are known as periods so let's see what decides the placing of an element in a certain group and periods how we have to place the elements on what property we will learn about this you can see in the periodic table 18 groups and 7 periods so first when we talk of vertical columns which are known as group if we take an example of any group like group 1 if we take the first three elements of group 1 hydrogen lithium and sodium you can see when we are dividing on the basis of electronic configuration we are finding one in the last one shell so the similarity what we find we find all these elements contain the same number of valence electrons and this is one so this one is indicating that if the element is belonging to the group the group number and the number of valence electron are same so this is the what we infer from the this that number of valence electron is equal to the number of the group likewise if we see the different members of this group only lithium sodium and potassium all are having one but their number of shells are increasing as we are going down in the group next is horizontal rows which are known as periods if we see any of the horizontal row that means any of the period like lithium beryllium boron carbon what we see that the number of valence electrons are increasing as we are moving left to right in a period so does these elements contain the same number of valence electrons no do they contain the same number of shells yes so if we see that the number of shells in a period remains same but the valence electron increases so what we can infer that number of shells is always equal to the number of period likewise if we see that the third period that is sodium magnesium aluminum here all these elements are having the same number of shells though they are different in properties and the atomic number is also different so the maximum number of electron that can be accommodated in a shell depends on the formula 2n square rule where n is the number of given to the shell from the nucleus for example k shell will be having 2 l cell will be having 8 third fourth fifth sixth and seventh period are having 8 18 18 32 32, 32 elements respectively now let's see the question answers first question elements fluorine and chlorine belong to the group 17 how many electrons do fluorine and chlorine have in their outermost shell so fluorine and chlorine belong to group 17 so they will have seven electrons in the outermost shell because the same group elements have same number of electron second is write the electronic configuration of magnesium aluminum silicon you can see the electronic configuration 282 283 284 and on the basis of number of valence electron we are deciding the group and on the basis of number of shells we are giving the period question number 3 write the electronic configuration of the first three elements of group 1 hydrogen lithium sodium you will find that all these element contain the same number of valence electron that is 1 then question number 4 how many elements are there in first and second third and fourth elements elements present in different period first two second 8 third 8 and fourth 18 question number 5 how does the electronic configuration of an atom relate to its position in the modular periodic table these are the two points which you have to write that is number of valence electron equals to number of number of the group and number of shells equals to the number of period on the basis of this we can relate the position of a element in the periodic table hope you like the question thank you